Hello, Mr. Johnson. This is Mr. Loman, legal counsel, representing your feline occupant, Edna. It seems the litter box was not emptied last night. If this continues, I'm afraid we will have to press charges for violating her rights. Also, I'm informed that an animal threw up a hairball in your bed this morning. Let me just say that my client denies any involvement, and if you attribute it to her, I'm afraid we'll have to seek damages for defamation. Have a good day. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Loman here again. Uh, it's come to my attention that your cat litter is off-brand. Yeah, due to a traumatic experience as a kitten with this brand, I would advise you to stop being cheap and buy the good stuff, or else we may have to claim damages due to emotional trauma. And no, I'm not joking. I already fed you, Edna. Mr. Johnson, on behalf of my client, I'm keen to inform you that not adequately feeding minors living in your care constitutes child abuse. I recommend giving her the lobster tail you're keeping in the fridge. Uh, but that's for my date tonight, so you can just forget it. Mr. Johnson, sir. Listen, Loman, if you want to take me to court, then good freaking luck. Need I remind you that I'm the most powerful feline lawyer in the state? Well, then do your worst, cat lawyer. Mr. Johnson. Damn you, cat lawyer. Damn you! <laughs> Michael from Michigan, my cat's lawyer hates me.